Hello, Imaginators. Welcome to Patty's Peculiarities. Well, hi. Uh, we're in that time of the year. Um, we love the lights, so, you know, we put up the Christmas tree a little early this year. Um, and we're enjoying it, really. Um, and so glad that I did because uh, I don't know if everybody knows yet, uh, but here we go. I broke my elbow. <laughs> so uh, today um, the project's going to be a little interesting. Um, she's going to be the hands. Um, this arm is pretty good, but as I'm finding out, uh, even just trying to keep up with uh, uh, my paintings, which I'll show you one here. Um, so today's project uh, for uh, YouTube and for <laughs> the Lord of Life Church. Uh, hi kids! I'm still here. Um, anyway, my outrageous group, we're going to be making these. I'm going to pull one up kind of closer. Um, they're made out of a two inch chip paintbrush and I'll show you this. And this is the chip paintbrush. It's plain. It's just a paintbrush. Um, and we're going to create it into this. Yeah. <laughs> so if you go to the store, for all the YouTube family out there, um, if you go to the store and you buy these paint brushes, you're going to want to prime your paintbrush and get it to a point where either you have like a sparkly white or a gold or a silver or a red. You know, do some Christmas colors. Um, I did the brushes half and half so kids uh, that are picking up the packages uh, they can kind of decide what they want to create for a design. Um, this one had the polka dots. This one had the stripes. Um, but they're beautiful ornaments on the tree. Um, they're going to be just cute up there. Um, and I guess that's about it. I don't know. All right, let's get painting or decorating or a bunch of whole Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, uh, all lights and bright. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Um, and I have um, cut some little pieces of a cork uh, that we're going to turn into the nose of our Santa. Um, I also have these little black beads that I put white dots on like reflections in the eyes um, and we have some like little doodads that we're going to be gluing onto the hat to just give it a little extra pizzazz um, on this one I did a bow um, on that one here's a snowflake and I think that's similar to some of the packets that'll be going home um, with some of the kids um, so anyway, we're going to start with the noses in the packet, and you should have, um, we're going to give out a little bit of red, aqua, a green, and a white paint, and then there should be glue. Um, but we're going to start painting the tips of the noses red. So that's the next part of this. And uh, yeah, so we can just kind of get started with that. And uh, so we will let those dry and uh, then we can go ahead and take our brush and hopefully you've primed your brushes uh, a color of some sort um, and then we're just going to go ahead and start painting designs on our brushes um, with that in mind remember um, we have some ribbon that we're going to be turning into the brims of the hat so we're going to be actually gluing that on after the paint dries so if you're making a design or colors, kind of see what kind of ribbon you have that you can use to cover up that part of the paintbrush. Um, and just kind of keep that in mind while you're drawing or painting your design on your uh, brush.
Okay, so now that we're done uh, working on the hat part, making a design, um, now you want to take a fresh brush or a Q-tip or something and get into some white paint um, and create um, a beard. So you can see on this particular um, Santa, um, I cut the beard and then put some white paint in it. So you can decide what kind of a shape you want. Um, this one here, I just rounded off the edges a little bit. So you want to take your scissors and you want to cut the shape of the beard um, down a little bit. So now that we've painted the beards and we've decorated the hats, um, and now we are going to let this dry so that we don't screw up our designs and have some problems. Um, so we'll give it some time to dry, maybe about 15 minutes or so, and then we will be back. Thanks. Hi, um, we are back and we are getting ready to glue down our fabric little ribbon piece onto the paintbrush. Um, so you'll want to get your glue and I don't know if you want to use a q-tip or some sort of a paintbrush if you have one um, but what I'm going to suggest is taking the glue and actually putting it onto the metal piece okay and then you want to also kind of double check that your ribbon wraps around the piece so um, and you don't want a lot of extra at the end And then if the fur kind of, or if the ribbon touches the other ribbon, you'll want to stick just a little bit of glue right on that, that edge. And don't worry because the glue will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about what that's going to look like. Um, and it's on the back anyway. And then kind of smash it down. And then we're going to get that um, the nose and the eyes on, okay? So the nose is actually put onto the brush more. But what I like to do is take that little ribbon where the brim of that hat is and I like to give it a little push up. Almost like um, that little eyes are gonna be sticking out from under there in the nose. So give that a little wrinkle if you can, like that. Okay, and I'll stick that nose right in there. Down just a little bit, perfect. And then you're going to get two of your eyes and you're going to look at where the little sparkles are. My little sparkles. And then I like to just dip it into the paint. Dip. Get a good chunk of glue on there and then put an eye in. Okay, and so now we've got the two eyes, the nose, and the brim. And I would let this dry before you start adding like pretty things onto your 
button or if you do some ribbon or something, wait until after. Okay. Hi, we are back. Um, just a quick side note. Um, things got a little crazy and we had to get out a little hot glue because for some reason everything was just having some issues. Let's just say that the quick drying glue did not go so quick. Yeah, and uh, and we were a little impatient, which doesn't help things. Um, but anyway, we've gotten everything under control, and uh, we are ready now to kind of glue on um, some other little doodads. Like I put on a piece of yarn on this one. You should get some yarn in your packet. Um, and then this mushroom is actually the mushroom that came, um, but I painted it. And then I'm putting some of the snow, hopefully, that you get in your packet. Um, I glued a little bit of that on there as well. Um, so I'm going to glue the mushroom to my hat of this particular one. Okay, so now I've got my little mushroom on there. She's got her little thing. And now we're gonna take, and we're gonna put some glue on the bottom of our beards. And then we're gonna put some snow on it so that they are sparkly like this particular one. Yeah, so I like to, um, oh, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. I know, that's okay. And then we're gonna take and just kind of pile some glue on. <laughs> We've had quite an evening doing this. <laughs> Why did you just stick like this? And then for the last step, uh, the very last step is putting the twine yep, through the top of your ornament now. Yep, and then they're ready to hang after they dry. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And most importantly, never stop painting. Bye.